Okay, it's me again. Morning, guys. So here in front of you, you see a setup to measure the viscosity of polymer solution. Now, first up, as usual, you need to have your PPE on. Gloves must be ready on your hands. And I'm going to bring you through what are the equipments you need and apparatus for this measurement. First up, you have your instruction manual. In case you forget the theory and what to do, you can refer to it. Please don't make any mistake. And of course, safety comes first. You got to have a stopwatch because later on, you need to measure the flow time of the polymer liquid through this discord meter here. Now you have a starting time, starting line here, and ending line. It's like a running array, so you need to measure the time taken for the liquid to go through this portion here. And as you might have understood, the more viscous the, the more viscous the liquid is, the slower it flows, and hence the flow time will be longer. Here you see a paper filler. You need to pump up the polymer solution up before the mark here and then release it using gravity and start the timer. And here you see 25 ml volumetric flask to um, make up the solution of a polymer. You might ask, why do we need to put inside the beaker? Again, it's for a safety reason too. Now in case you put it outside, okay, with the cap on, a careless knock. Okay, it might break and topple and all your hard work will be gone. But if you place it inside, right, in case there's some hairline crack, the toluene and polymer could still dig out and you have a secondary catchment. And on top of that, if you knock it by a bit accidentally, it could still stay inside. Next, you need to have your cotton wool here to filter your polymer solution through it to take away any possible solid because we do not want any solid to go into this viscometer. Now, see that there are four viscometers in the bench top. Three of them are being inverted because they are not being used yet. So before you use it, you have to invert this such that the opening tube faces the top here. Before you use the viscometer, make sure it's all dry with toluene, free of any moisture, and let it dry all the way to the bottom part. Toluene is of solvent here, so you need to have a bottle of it and some pipette, 10 ml pipette, to top up the solution here. Okay, you also need some dropper, spare beaker, conical flask, and of course here you see our polymer solution that we have prepared from suspension polymerization. We will be using a test to measure the viscosity of the polymer made from this polymerization. Now you might ask, there isn't any solid inside, so why do we have to still do some filtration? These solids are very tiny, it can't be seen by the eyes, so we have to make sure that there are no solid that's being tested going through the viscometer, and hence, no matter what, we have to perform this step by passing this liquid through the funnel, fitted with cotton wool to only get the liquid. Right. So here it is, the setup for measuring the viscosity of a polymer solution. See you.